और बात कर लेते हैं हमारे ऐतिहासिक क्षण की जी हाँ चंद्रयान तीन को लेकर भारत इतिहास रचने के लिए पूरी तरीके से तैयार है चंद्रयान तीन अब चंद्रमा के दक्षिणी ध्रुव पर लैंडिंग के लिए और करीब पहुंच रहा है चंद्रमा के दक्षिणी ध्रुव पर ऐतिहासिक लैंडिंग शाम पांच बजकर पैतालीस मिनट से शुरू होगी इसके साथ ही भारत ऐसा करने वाला पहला देश बन जाएगा तो देखिए इसी पर हमारी ये स्पेशल स्टोरी India space program is hoping to soar higher, riding on the wings of Chandrayaan 3. See, by Chandrayaan 3 success, definitely it will give one big thing for India, a technology for soft landing on a celestial body. To reach another planet and have a soft landing can be the beginning of a, a human space exploration at a later stage if you need. India's first lunar mission in 2008 put Chandrayaan 1 in orbit around the moon and found water molecules in lunar soil. 11 years later, Chandrayaan 2 was only partly successful as the lander crashed but the orbiter, ISRO said, yielded discovery class findings. Chandrayaan 2, unfortunately, the last part of the landing got into a problem. Otherwise, it would have been very great. That one is all being rectified in Chandrayaan 3. So it is a multiple set of changes which have been done on the Chandrayaan that payload alone. For Chandrayaan 3, ISRO scientists went back to the drawing board. They decided to go without an orbiter and cut costs by a third compared to Chandrayaan 2. The separate propulsion module is carrying a payload called SHAPE. While propulsion module will stay in orbit, SHAPE will look for signs of Earth-like habitable planets. By landing at the uh, near South Pole region where uh, not explored region, unexplored region is landing, and they carry out the science there. So the Shantanthi mission is expected to bring something new scientific findings. Yet the big takeaway will come from a successful soft landing on the moon. It will put India on top of the league of the select nations capable of landing an object on the moon. The soft landing of the Vikram will affirm ISRO's technical prowess demonstrate the ability to conduct scientific experiments on the lunar surface and gain knowledge of the chemical composition on Earth's satellite. And the rover will go around, take very close pictures of the objects there, and more than that, uh, try to map the mineralogy using some of the sensors and uh, try to look for some seismic vibrations and uh, so on. So it's a very important uh, experiment, uh, scientific experiment, as well as a demonstration of our uh, technical capability. The achievement of Chandrayaan 3's objectives, besides bringing laurels to ISRO, could be the force multiplier for India's space industry. Bureau Report, Times Now.